Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. And today I want to go over the December highlights for the, for the marketplace. There was three items that I particularly want to focus on. One was that the inventory for the month of December uh, went back to about a normal level year over year. Somewhat similarly, the number of properties hitting the market uh, was quite interesting. Um, and I'll get into that in a bit. And then I also want to talk about pricing. Inventory over the past seven or eight months has been at a record high in San Francisco. Ever since about May, inventory has been month over month, one of the highest that we've seen up until the month of December. At the month of December, it dropped to a level that is uh, pretty much, it's a little bit elevated, but it's pretty much on par year over year over the past several years for the month of December. November was, all, November, it was already dropping, but by this December, it hit an average level of inventory in, the, in San Francisco. That being a big caveat, that happens almost on an annual basis of the, that the inventory drops. A lot of times inventory will come back on in the springtime uh, for properties that haven't sold. Um, they get pulled from the market sometimes during the months of November, December, over around the holidays and they come back on. So it'll be interesting to see if all those, if the spring inventory uh, jumps substantially faster than it usually does. My guess is it might be, but during the month of December, the inventory was back to a regular level. On a uh, somewhat connected uh, item, the new inventory in the market was actually at a lower level. So we only saw 177 listings hit the market in the month of December. So once again, over the past seven or eight months, month over month, the number of properties hitting the market was at all time highs, but in the month of December, it was actually at a, one, an all-time low for probably about the past 10 years. So it was one of the lowest levels we've seen. My guess is that that was because we've had such high inventory over the past several months that there was a somewhat, a somewhat depleted level of inventory left to come back on the mark, come onto the market um, during the month of December. Also, the Thanksgiving holiday was quite late this year. It was one of the latest uh, um, Thanksgivings that we can actually have um, on a uh, during the year. So that decreased in the, the time period between Thanksgiving and Christmas, which we only usually have about three or four working weeks. I think here we had like two and a half to three weeks. So it was quite a short uh, December marketplace to begin with. Um, but despite it being a higher inventory market overall for the time period, the December new inventory was quite low. And the last item that I really want to go over to is pricing. The price when we finished out the year, the pricing for December was actually higher on a month on an annual basis, which I thought was quite incredible because anecdotally, I didn't think that the, it didn't feel that the December market or the marketplaces overall were doing better than we've done in the years past. Um, the market has been re pretty slow during, during the, uh, during the fall, fall market. Uh, the holiday period was a little bit better than what I usually expect, especially compared to the October and November market. Um, I don't know if that, that had to do with the election cycle being over, with you know the announcement of the vaccine coming out, but the Christmas holiday did feel a little bit busier, but a lot, a lot of that won't hit till the January marketplace um, data is, is comes out in the next several weeks. But year over year, prices in December are required to be higher. On one of my last videos, I talk about the time on market going up, which I'll explain has to do a little bit with that. But my analysis of this is that the reason why on a year to year basis, the marketplace, the price is higher is because larger properties sold. So average, average properties that have sold are have more rooms. They are larger homes. So there's been fewer studios that have sold fewer one bedrooms or you know loft loft units but two bedroom three bedroom condos are selling single family homes are selling so the average price is going up because larger homes are selling however the smaller units that are having more difficult selling during the covid time are not being taken into account so that could be a big a big reason why the average month to month price is higher even if anecdotally and what I'm seeing in the market is that it's a little bit of a slower marketplace. I have some other uh, some other information that I'll, that I'll come up in, in other updates that will hopefully give more uh, information on this. 
But overall, inventory currently is back to where we see on an average base, uh, basis and prices are not doing that poorly in the city of San Francisco. And I think, you know, overall, the marketplace is doing pretty well despite being in the middle of the pandemic and so much uh, movement going in and out of the city at this time period. Thanks so much and I'll come back with more information over the coming weeks. Bye.